what does socialism mean to you? <laughs> <laughs> what I did in my summer vacation. Yeah. How, uh, I mean, in other words, like how, what I mean is like, how do you define your politics, right? I mean, well, I mean, the long-term socialism means to me uh, the democratic control over um, popular control over investment right. and uh, the direction of uh, investment and uh, resources, human and physical uh, yeah. and intellectual resources uh, towards uh, the satisfaction of need rather than profit. Um, and, uh, but, you know, I, in practical terms, um, I think socialism in the U S in this context now means, uh, the establishment of a civilized welfare state. Okay. Uh, uh, and, you know, as Hillary Clinton said, this is not Denmark, but you know, there's no reason we couldn't be, we could have, uh, better income supports for people who are broke or out of work. We could have free education, we could have uh, uh, public health uh, programs, we could have, and I think the Green New Deal is very much an important part of this now, um, mm. on both parts of that, the green part, uh, the attentiveness to climate, and the New Deal part, like building an infrastructure, uh, developing uh, a much more robust uh, system of social welfare, more just redistribution of the system, mm. uh, job guarantees, uh, uh, which I prefer to a, a universal basic income. Uh, and. Um, yeah, I think that the Green New Deal kind of encapsulates uh, what uh, what I'm talking about with this, what a social democratic uh, agenda would look like in the U.S. now. Um, okay. Different kinds of investment, uh, different approach towards climate, and a much more redistribution of solidaristic uh, agenda. Okay, so I have what I believe is a left-wing criticism of a lot of that. Um, I think it's left-wing. So you know that I hang out with a lot of libertarians. They have their own critiques of that. I'm not interested in that. I, right. I have I have my own very own iconoclastic. Do you I have think, dealings with the Center for a Stateless Society? I, I I know them well. Yeah. 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 But I, they've apparently they've changed lately, and they don't like me anymore because I didn't. Oh, okay. Because because I refused to say that Trump was a fascist. So they think I'm oh. uh, they think I'm a collaborator with Trump. The use of the word fascist is really odd. Um, yeah. The, the people want to use it. I'm not sure what it adds either analytically or um, programmatically. Uh, Samuel Moyne, uh, professor of law and history. He was, on this, he was on this show just recently. Oh, yeah. He's a very interesting character. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one of the things he said was that use of that fascist label doesn't really help you figure out a way out of this mess. Right. Uh, and I think uh, that's a good point to make. I mean, uh, so I, I, I resist with a lot of people on the left. What does it say? He's a fascist. OK, what does that get? What does that what does that gain you to say that? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I just want people to define it. And what they often mean is just authoritarianism, which is not fascism. Yeah. Right. Trump, well, is the, author he's authoritarian for sure, but he's not a yeah. fascist. because He's not smart enough to be a fascist. Well, also, he, he comes out, he's a deeply American character. I mean, the yeah. combination of the xenophobia, the hucksterism, uh, the hostility to expertise, these are all longstanding American right. features. Right. And uh, like, people act as if he's, I keep trying to make this point to a lot of people, like, yes, things were bad before. Yes, Trump is a turn for, a war, turn for the worse. Why can't you hold those two thoughts in your head at once? Mm. Like, people will say, oh, no, you either have to say Trump is the worst thing that ever happened, or... You have to say nothing has changed. Well, you know, something has changed, but there's also continuity. Um, yeah. People have a hard time dealing with that. 